No, that's why I told him. I told him, I said, you need to wash your wife in the word. That's what it says in the Bible in Ephesians 5, starting at verse 25. It says, <laughs> husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Right there, Paul says, wash your wives in the word. That's the word, UV. <laughs> no, nah, that's what I told him. Yay. Hold on, here come this, here come this man. <laughs> hey, what you, what you about, gotta bro? say now? You talking about Ephesians 5? Bro, you know that's a text about baptism. Let me read, let me break it down to you, my guy. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that her is the church, let me, not let the me wives. Stop you let me right finish. There. It says that he might sanctify her, the church, having cleansed her, the church, by the washing of water with the word. That's baptism, the word and the water. Facts. Hold on. It says so that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish. That she is the church, bro. Okay, I know what it says. What it says I got the word God. in my hand. And Paul said right here that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her right, by bro, the washing right, right, of the I word. Of the water. With the word. Hey, right here. Read. You nah, read. It's your world. It's your hey, world, fam. I'm standing on it. I'm going to stand on it. You see? All right, bro. All right. Whatever, my guy. You know what I mean? I say before you go, get that extra note.